Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to understand the Databricks cluster policies. Here first we will understand the theoretical part and after that we will understand how to create a Databricks cluster policy in Azure Databricks portal. And do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Here I am continuously sharing the content related to data engineering, Databricks and Azure cloud. Let us understand the Azure Databricks cluster policies. It is a powerful administrative tool that enables the workspace administrators to control and standardize the cluster creation and configuration within their Databricks environment. So with the help of cluster policies, you can control and standardize the cluster creation and configuration within the Databricks environment. Now note down this important point. The cluster policies are only available in premium tier, in standard tier they are not available. By defining specific rules and restrictions, the policies ensure that clusters are created in a consistent manner. With the help of policies you can align with the organizational best practices and you can achieve the cost optimization goals as well as you can fulfill the security requirements. So this is the theoretical introduction of the cluster policies. Let us understand the benefits of the cluster policies. Policies can limit users to creating clusters with prescribed settings. Policies can limit the users creating a certain number of clusters. It simplifies the user interface and enable more users to create their own clusters. It can control the cost by limiting per cluster maximum cost. As well as it can enforce cluster scoped library installations. So these are the benefits that cluster policies provides. Let us move towards the Azure portal and see how to create a cluster policy in Azure Databricks. So here I am on the Azure portal. Go to Azure Databricks service. This is the workspace we have created earlier. Databricks-WS. Now launch the workspace. This is the Azure Databricks workspace. Now go to compute. And here you can see policies, click on that. From here we can create the policies and these are the five predefined policies. First one is the job compute. Then we have legacy shared compute. After that we have personal compute, power user compute and shared compute. The shared compute policy cannot be used because your workspace does not have unity catalog enabled. To use the shared compute policy, we have to enable the unity catalog in our workspace. As of now, ignore this one. Now, to create the cluster policy, first we have to define the requirement. Let us define the requirement. I'll open another Azure workspace here. Go to compute. Create compute. So here we will select the policy that we will create. We want to allow users to create only single node cluster. This is the first requirement. We will allow users to select the access mode and we want to allow the users to select the latest runtime. Latest runtime in the standard option, not in machine learning group. So this will be the default option 15.4 LTS under the standard group. Then the node type. We want to provide four options for the node type. First one is the standard DS3 V2, this one under the general purpose. Then the standard D3 V2 under the general purpose HDD. Then the standard DS12 V2, this one under the memory optimized. And standard D12 V2, this one under the memory optimized remote HDD. So the users will have only these four options for the node type. And at the end termination time, we want it as 30 minutes as well as we don't want our users to deselect the auto termination. This checkbox. So these are the requirements and according to that we have to create a cluster policy. Let us go to policies. Create the policy. First we have to specify the name of the policy. I'll specify my policy. Then we have to select the family. We want to select the custom. These are the pre-existing policies. 
as of now we want to create the custom policy then the description let us specify description policy restricting users to create clusters required for project 1 you can specify any description related to the policy and here we have to specify the policy definitions to understand the policy definitions i'll open the azure documentation here i will share this link in the description compute policy reference here you can understand what are the policy definitions supported attributes supported policy types writing the policies for array attributes and policy examples now scroll down supported policy types note down here there are two categories of policy types fixed policies and limiting policies fixed policies prevent user configuration on an attribute there are two types for the fixed policies fixed policy and forbidden policy and for the limiting policies these are the options these five let us start with the fixed policy now note down the json here this example policy fixes the databricks runtime and hides the field from users ui spark version type is fixed the fixed policy and the version of the databricks runtime the latest lts and hidden is true now i'll copy this one let us understand this by creating the policy paste i'll make it true hidden as true create the policy policy is created successfully let us create our cluster here i'll select the policy as my policy confirm select the single node let us see the policy again it is selecting the latest lts version and here you can see we have to make it false because the databricks version is hidden as we specified hidden as true let us edit make it false update the policy let us select the policy again my policy and here you can see the databricks runtime version 15.4 lts this is the fixed user cannot change this we can make it hidden as well to do that edit the policy make hidden as true update let us select the policy again single node now user will not able to see the databricks runtime version so this is how we can use the policy by specifying the details under the definitions now we will update this policy as we discussed earlier earlier here in the requirements edit i'll paste the json file here let us understand this spark cluster profile that is spark configuration fixed value single node hidden let us make it false so users can only select the single node cluster this will be the fixed value then the node type here we are using type as allow list you can see here allow list policy under the allow list we can specify the options and user can select accordingly so these are the four options for the users and user can select from these options and this is the default value from these options standard ds3 v2 so this is about the node type then the auto termination minutes let us make it 30 minutes and this is fixed user cannot change this one we can hide this as well but as of now we are not doing this 
then the spark version is fixed the latest LTS version will be selected hidden as false and at the end we are specifying cluster type all purpose cluster we don't want to use this policy for jobs compute we want to use it only for all purpose compute I hope you understood the details that we specified here let us update the policy great now select the policy my policy and here you can see single node is default selected and users cannot edit this one user can select the access mode then the databricks runtime version this is the default value and users cannot edit terminate after 30 minutes user cannot deselect this one as well so we successfully defined the policy here so this is how we can create a custom policy now we will understand how to use the existing policy with a minor change let us create the policy we want to use the personal compute let us give the policy name personal compute 2 now we want to use this personal compute policy with a minor change let us see the change we want to change the auto termination minutes to 30 so copy this one these details auto termination minutes click on edit and specify here let us change the value the default value will be 30 now click on ok and create the policy so this policy is created successfully let us try to use it personal compute 2 confirm now here you can see terminate after 30 minutes and user can change this as well as deselect this checkbox so you can create a policy by doing a change in existing policies one of these you have to select the policy then you have to give the name and you can do changes from here you can change any of these values just you have to click on edit copy the value that you want to change then paste here and click on ok and then create so in this video first we understood the theory about the policies then we understood how to create a custom policy and at the end we understood how to use an existing policy with a minor change let us delete the policies that we have created my policy delete personal compute 2 delete for the more information you can read this documentation for the compute policies in databricks now thank you so much for watching this video if this video helped you then please do like and subscribe and drop the comment if you have any questions and hit the bell icon for the updates I'll see you in the next video.